I'm John Stair reporting live from Chopper 13 HD, and this is in Southern Bartholomew County in Walesboro. You can see a, a family here has sandbags up, and they and their neighbors are now doing the bailing out process, uh, ready to clean up their home and uh, you know dig out from under the muck that has fallen here in the past uh, couple of months, particularly in the past couple of days. Now across the area, emergency responders have carried out dozens of water rescues just over the past 48 hours. Now, despite the heavy rains of, that led to the days of flooding, there was big danger for many communities and some people got caught up in it. One of them was in Brown County, a tragic end to a search for a missing man who was swept away by floodwaters. Travis Watkins crossed a creek looking for his grandmother who he believed was in trouble. And Eyewitness News reporter Emily Longnecker was there tonight after crews recovered his body. Well, rescue crews say they located Travis Watkins' body about three quarters of a mile downstream from where he was first swept away. A powerful reminder, they say, of just how lethal water can be. From the moment they knew he'd been swept away in the creek near his Brown County home, Travis Watkins' family hoped against what seemed like an inevitable outcome when rescue crews still hadn't found him some 14 hours later. I'll be completely 100% satisfied when he's home. Or, I mean, God rest his soul. He's home either way. I just want him home. Around 3.30, Watkins' family got the word they'd been waiting for since last night. It was the kind of news, though, that will leave lives changed forever. As an emergency responder, we always come out here and, and we, we work hard. And the, and the end result is we always just want to find that closure for the family so that they can start their healing process. And rescue crews clearly not happy about how this all ended, but saying this afternoon that they are relieved that they could bring closure to this family who just wanted answers. In Brown County, Emily Longnecker, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And there are many places out here tonight where folks are bailing out and their neighbors are helping them. You know, we always talk about that's what Hoosiers do when problems like this arise. Well, Hoosiers are going to be doing a lot of it over the next few days.